Hey guys, Skid here, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Alright, last episode, I went to the Citadel, and I collected ice brandy and food ingredients. So we're gonna go deliver those right now to Chakwas and Gardner. Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Sure, buddy. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. I hope you washed your hands before you made that. Mmm, calamari gumbo. Actually, I'm not sure about the gumbo part, but I do like calamari. It's all right. How may I help you? It's not my favorite dish. But I have a present for you, Doc. It's okay. Sarah's ice brandy. Yep. You didn't. Yes, I did. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here? Right now, you and me. Sure. You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. <laughs> I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same. Enthusiasm. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often they die. And if I can help them, they move on. By the way, they leave. Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff, Joker will always have Rolick syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish he weren't, but sadly, it's true. Hmm. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or, hell, maybe it's you. Shepherd, Toast to me, then? <laughs> our immovable center. A place for a person to stop and catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that for once? Hmm. Look at all these toasts you can do. Uh, I don't know which one to do. To the people we care for. May we never take them for granted. <laughs> oh shit, I'm drunk off my ass <laughs> and so is Chakras apparently you gonna be okay there Chakras I'm just gonna let you lay there whoa <laughs> this is awesome all right then oh <sighs> that's annoying I might have to turn off discord I hope it's not I hope it doesn't go do 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 in the background too often but, uh, alright then. Okay. It looks like I'm no longer drunk. That was fast. What do we do from here? Let's see. Make a 
stop by these, uh, by these planets and do a little standing, I guess. I think that's what I'm gonna do for this episode. At least for a little while, let's just do some planet standing, get some, um, get some resources. Like I said, I hope you guys don't find this boring or anything, but it's something that I want to do. It's something that I want to make sure that I'm prepared for, because a lot of the things I notice that you can make require like 15,000 resources. So I want to try and earn as much up as I can. I'm going to try and do a normal mission too at some point, but I want to do a lot of planet scanning. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long. Whoops, I didn't mean to escape. I hate that if you press escape twice, it just exits you out to your map instead of exiting you out to like the nav na navigation or whatever. That's annoying. Anyway, I know I've already scanned these planets, but I'm just making double sure. Because I know I can buy some more probes at that fuel depot. Launching probe. So I guess there's no Mako on this in this game. Like, uh, I guess there's no like exploring the actual planet's surface and looking around this giant map and driving around and stuff. That'd be cool if there was, but at the same time, it did get a bit tedious in the first game. Even so, I kind of miss it. Launching pro. You know, I've always enjoyed games. Like, okay, um. On my channel a, a while back, I was playing uh, No Man's Sky, and I mentioned just how much you know I was enjoying it and how much I had fun with it. And you know that's I was. It, it's the truth. I was enjoying it. I was having fun playing it. But uh, it was. I did it again. Anyway, um, I was enjoying it. But I think it was just like, because it was my first impressions, you know, I was playing it for the first time, everything was new, and... Oh, hello planet, I didn't see you. Ooh, standard results rich. Nice. But, uh, anyway, yeah, it was because it was new, it was fresh, and, um, you know, I, I hadn't played it before. And I still hold true to what I said, you know, it's something that I would, it's something that I enjoy, it's something that I could have fun with, I know it's underwhelming considering the uh, preview trailer that everybody, that they showed, and they promised multiplayer and all that stuff, and it wasn't, but, like, the, the extent of the multiplayer was naming monsters or whatever, you should possibly run into an already discovered monster or something, I don't know. Anyway, um, the thing that annoyed me about it, I guess, is, um, just like everyone else said, you know, how unlike the preview trailer it really was. But um, that being said, it is still a game I enjoy. I love games where you get to explore outer space, you get to like fly around a ship, you actually get to fly onto the planets and explore the planet and stuff. I love games like that. It, you know what um, No Man's Sky reminded me of? Uh, I'm not sure if anybody's made this comparison. I'm sure there has been. But No Man's Sky, in its preview trailer, and then its uh, um, actual gameplay, I'm going to upgrade the, um, the mineral scanner, by the way, because I know it costs... Uh, Might as well go ahead and do the Thanet scan while I'm at it. Cool. Now hopefully that mineral scanner uh, yields more mineral resources as I'm scanning planets. So that'll be cool. Do I need to talk to him to get the scanner equipped or anything? I don't think so. But, I mean, I mean, you'd think it's just equipped automatically. We'll go talk to uh, Garrus though about the cannon. He did say to come talk to him. Anyway, um, what was I saying? 
I lost my train of thought. Um, 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 oh yeah, the preview trailer difference from the real game reminded to me of Spore. I'll go into more detail about this Shepard, in a minute. Need me for something? Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? My current upgrades are working pretty well. That's about the best I can do. What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? The weapons upgrades have gone in beautifully. This thing packs a hell of a punch. It just might give us a chance against the Collectors. Awesome. Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the... Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. Can you already talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Okay, I guess there was really no need to talk to him or anything. Anyway, um... What was I saying? Uh, yeah, it reminds me of Spore. The No Man's Sky release. It reminds me of how underwhelming Spore was com uh, compared to all the previews and uh, trailers and, you know, co uh, conferences about it and stuff. I remember seeing the conferences and looking at the uh, trailers and the previews and following that game closely, Spore. I remember following that game and just thinking, oh, this is going to be so awesome. And then whenever it was actually released, it was so underwhelming. Holy crap. Yeah, I think that mineral scanner really helps. Super cool. So anyway, yeah, th that's what it reminds me of. And I think... I don't know. Like I said, it it's a fun game, and it's fun to play. I just don't think it's worth $60. 25 at the most. No Man's Try, that is. Spore isn't worth more than about ten dollars <laughs> even when it released I was very unhappy with Spore okay let's go explore some other planets Results are moderate. Let's see. Um, other space games I really enjoyed. Uh, Freelancer. That was a fantastic game. And actually, something I might do on my channel. I love that game. Freelancer is a fantastic game. It has a bit more customization with your ship. Uh, you can like choose. I think it's more open. Uh, I don't think you can actually get on the planets and explore them. It's mostly about space, like combat or cargo shipping and stuff like that. You can like choose to be a, a, a fighter in space, or you can choose to be a cargo vessel. And you can like smuggle, and it, it's super good. I might give that a shot, but check it out if you haven't. Freelancer, it's a good game. So, Normandy crash site. Anomaly detected. Maybe I'll do this mission now. Ah, oh, now it allows me to land. Cool, alright, let's do this one then. Yeah, let's do this mission. Normandy. Oh, it's the Mako! Oh, man. Hello? 
dot tag. Alright. So there's 20 of those, or 19 more, I guess. Wow. Oh my god. Whoa, flashback. Oh, place, place monument? Uh, should I do that? Alright. Yeah, there we go. Place a monument for the Normandy. Wow. Dude, the the atmosphere and the music for this area is just absolutely perfect. Oh my god. Like this the oh I love this. The music is so like somber and quiet. And then I feel like I'm shooting this fragile crate, but Oh, there's okay. I did need to shoot that. There's a dog tag inside. Anyway, yeah, it's so quiet and relaxing, but kind of eerie and sad and, oh, I don't know, it, it's, I don't know how to feel right now. 